What is going on guys? I am Tyro the man. I feel like the man and today we're gonna talk about what if Tondro was in my academia part four. I hope you guys enjoy and if you're new here please like and subscribe. So you can have more of these videos. I don't know. Our story begins simply after the stain arc. The characters just recovered from the hospital and now are in class to discuss what is going on next. It is their final exams, Izawa states. Eight, and they were all very confused. At first, they thought that the final exams were going to be robots, but when the class went outside, they saw a row of their teachers. As Aizawa stated, no, you're not fighting robots, you're fighting us. As all of the teachers lined up, Aizawa would state them off one by one, as Tanjiro and Bakugo would find themselves to be the last one picked. As Tanjiro would ask, well, who in wait, me and Bakugo are teaming up? As Bakugo would angrily state, uh, less than that, who are we fighting? But then All Might from the skies would jump and then land in a very epic and graceful manner at the same time, as he, in a menacing glare, would yell, I am your opponent. Now, obviously, like in the original, the All Might fight is the, pretty much the very last one, and even though even though Izuku it kind of took the place of uh, Tokoyami, so whoever Tokoyami paired up with, that's exactly who Izuku pairs up with. But I'm pretty sure Izuku would pass. So let's just get all the way to the Tanjiro Bakugo versus All Might fight. At first, Bakugo would like try and put off Tanjiro, stay. It doesn't need him his help. He doesn't really care whatever he does as long as he gets to fight All Might, and that he stays out of his way. But Tanjiro would smile. What? What do you mean? Run away? This is the perfect opportunity for me to fight All Might and test my abilities. I'm not running. I only run when you run, Bakugo. Besides, we're teammates. So if I fail, you fail. Bakugo would smirk like I'd failed you, that old bastard. The fight begins, and All Might blitzes towards Tanjiro and Bakugo. You're wide open, boys. As, as All Might would clothesline both Tanjiro and Bakugo, but last minute Tanjiro would suck in a bit of air, air and then breathe fire. So it looked like he got clotheslined, but in actuality, he dodged it. Meanwhile, on the other hand, Bakugo got the full power clothesline. Bakugo goes on the floor. Tanjiro, with the momentum of the uh, last attack, was able to perform at least a semi-circle uh, clear blue sky. Because of this, a giant uh, crescent-shaped flaming, uh, I wouldn't say blade, but just like a crescent-shaped flame, expanded towards All Might. All Might saw this and tanked it. I'm sorry, is this supposed to be hot? He'd say. <laughs> Remember, Tanjiro, I'm not your teacher anymore. I'm not even the number one hero. I'm the villain. As he would blitz towards Tanjiro and punch him directly in the gut. And I am here, he would say in a menacing glare. Tanjiro would be flung into the sky as a uh, recovery girl to the rest of the class would state, they're probably going to fail this one. Both of them are too stubborn to lose the All Might. But, as Tanjiro got up, he realized the situation. I forgot he wasn't going to go easy on us. We'll have to think of different ways we can win this. Running, Bakka wouldn't allow it, unless he's knocked out. All I have to do is keep fighting until Bak goes knocked out. Second Bak goes knocked out, I'll probably blitz to the finish line. Which means, as All Might would be behind Tondra. Which means what? You'll pass? No, I wouldn't allow that. But then All Might would uppercut Tondra's stomach and a bit of the rib cage. As a couple would yell, All Might, I can't heal ribs that easily. As all as Tanjiro would get flung to the other side of the arena, Bakugo would be getting to uh, would begin begin to recover his own consciousness. Son of a bitch! As Tanjiro would be flung right next to him. Son of a bitch! He would say again. So that old bastard's not holding back. 
I have an idea, but it's super stupid. If we both use our special moves at the same time. Tanjo, remember. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can do that. Tanjo would use recovery breathing. And then total concentration. He no kami. Black Yogurt would fling himself into the air as All Might was running towards them. Tanjo would then use his quirk to use the surrounding oxygen and burst them in the flames. He no kami. Flaming dragon. As he would blitz towards All Might. Preparing a full, full 360 degree. Actually, it's 270 degrees since, you know, he's not going to be able to do a full rotation because he's saying something. Sorry. 270 degree axe kick. Meanwhile, Bach goes in the air. There. Hell it, sir. As he would then rotate his body. At the same time, a flaming dragon would come from Tanjiro. Tanjiro's flaming dragon kick plus the howitzer impact. The howitzer dragon kick, as they called it. it. It was the middle of the fight. They had to think of something. The dragon would morph with the howitzer impact, and both of the attacks would land on All Might. All Might's trying to block it, but some of his clothing gets torn off and burnt off because of the shock wave and the heat. Now All Might is beginning to sweat. We need, we just need a moment, a single moment, as Katsuki Bucky would yell. Impact! Act. Then the rest of, of Bakugo's like, main impact began to settle. All Might would laugh. Is this supposed to be an attack? Act. Albeit, I'll give you points for working together, but this won't work. Massachusetts smash. He'd pray an X, and the surrounding wind would blow both Tanjiro and Bakugo away. Bakugo would land in a building as Tanjiro landed next to a sign. A stop sign. Tanjiro would cough his own blood. Son of a bitch. He's not going easy. I don't know what to do. Tanjiro is realizing that he might not pass as long as they can run away. But Tanjiro remembered something from Rengoku's training. A technique he learned. Us flame breathers have something special. The fact is that our inside bodies can handle the heat, but it will also still correspond to it. Tell me, Tanjiro, what happens when you get sick? What's the most notable thing with your inside body? Tanjiro would respond, I sweat? No, no, no. Your heart races. It's trying to settle in, but it doesn't know what to do other than to go faster. When I tell you to set your heart ablaze, I literally mean it. Once you do, your heart will beat so fast, your body won't even know what to do with itself. <laughs> that's what I call, and that's what I do when I say I set my heart ablaze. It's not some catchphrase I use. It's telling myself, it's telling everybody my technique of why I can move so fast when my strikes hit so hard. Tanjiro, set your heart ablaze. Tanjiro would get up as All Might would smirk. You only have limited time, boy. So tell me, what's your next move? Tanjiro would prepare a stance. <sighs> I have to grit my teeth. And then, as Tanjiro envisioned his own heart being set on fire, his heart began to race, his skin became red, and steam would appear because of the sweat being evaporated before he could hit his own body. Set my heart ablaze! His hair would stand up and begin to spike. Then the demon slayer mark on his fore- his marking on his forehead began to expand. Sorry, I said that on accident. Now, Tanjiro's body was bright red. What's this? This is new, isn't it? Tanjiro would prepare it, air an attack. His fist would become flames, as he would say, He no kami ember. He would blitz at All Might, and for a split second, All Might couldn't keep up with Tanjiro. Tanjiro would then hit All Might, but the flames didn't appear yet. <laughs> All of that for a puny attack. 
as he was cut off, as the flames began to, as the heat began to settle in, then a burst of flames went from where Tondro was to where Tondro is. The, his attack was delayed. I moved so fast that my flames couldn't even keep up, Tondro thought to himself, as all might was hit a second time. <coughs> what is this? He would say to himself. Tondro then stayed to himself. I guess I can't go from long distance attacks, but that was way faster than what my normal ember is. I think, I think what Goku taught me was correct. If I set my heart ablaze, I'll go faster and str I'll be stronger. Tanjo began to hit our all my with a flurry of attacks, each attack being more faster and devastating than the last. Tan Ring all my began to cough up blood. Tanjo thought to himself, "This must be it. I I'm I'm actually doing damage," but the fact was, All Might was really just running out of time. Tanjiro then hit him with a full-powered ember, right in the kidney. This is when All Might coughed the most blood, and All Might was out for the count. Well, I mean he's on the floor kneeling, but regardless, this is when Tanjiro would use his jet a uh, technique that doesn't really have a name for it at the moment. The grab box go, and he would use this jet to boost himself towards the uh, finish line, which they do cross, meaning that their team passes. Because of this, Tanjo began to walk a few feet, and Bakugo would yell at him. I had him, damn it. Tanjo would state, we had a second before he failed, as his body collapsed to the heat stroke. Tanjo woke up in the hospital, as recovery girl would state, You overused your quirk. If you overheat your body, you'll pass out. Also, you need to breathe, remember? The oxygen in your blood allows you to use your quirk. If you don't have any oxygen, all you're really doing is burning yourself. Do you understand? Tanjo would nod, as Aizawa would walk into the classroom. Congratulations, Tanjo. You passed. The class already left, but I guess I need to tell you. All the people who passed get to go to a training camp. So be prepared. It starts next week. Have some rest for now. He would walk away. Tanjiro would smile. Is Bakugo doing alright? Recovery girl would kind of frown a little. Well, the only time he came in was to yell at you, even though you were passed out. Tanjiro would laugh. And this is part four of what if Tanjiro was in Demon Slayer. I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I really want you guys to, like, I want to reward you guys. Thank you for sticking around. And uh, I just want to say thank you to whoever was in my last channel. Uh, it, it actually just hit 700 subscribers, and I'm very proud of myself. Problem is, I can't really tell you guys it because uh, I'm locked out of my account still. So, um, yeah, I... It really does hurt somewhat to see that the channel I once had is growing and I can't even tell my own fans how grateful I am. So, uh, thank you for sticking around. And uh, I think it's actually time for me to move on fully. Maybe, uh, <laughs> I'm still doing this, so don't worry about that. But thank you. From the deepest part of my heart, thank you. And, uh, we're gonna be part, we're gonna do a what if Naruto was an Uchiha next, so stick around for that.